Mr. Beethoven goes in the afternoons? Well, now I know, and I will tell you the story. I'll start at the beginning. Mother sometimes says that instead of just staying on the front steps, it would be nice if I'd spend some time inside. I used to believe she meant it until this morning. I thought of something to play with the twins. I rolled up a bit of cardboard like an ear trumpet. I put one end in little Teresa's ear. I said, good morning, baby, very loud, and she started to scream. Mother said it hurt her, so I went outside again and sat in my usual place on the step. Then Mr. Schindler came downstairs. He said to me, the master needs new pencils, and off I went to the shop. When I came back, he was gone. No one was upstairs but Mr. Beethoven, and he was writing at his desk. I stamped my feet on the floor to get his attention, and when he didn't notice, I stamped harder, until at last I was stamping as hard as I could, and then suddenly he turned around and saw me. He looked surprised to see me, then he started to laugh. He said, why, it's the little gatekeeper. When he laughs, he sounds like a lion. So he took me with him on his walk. We walked outside Vienna and into the tall woods, and then past the woods and into the fields. We stopped by a little brook. 